Meanwhile, economic development is one of West Virginia's biggest priorities, but it's been without a leader for the past six months. Today, Governor Jim Justice chose a new Secretary of Commerce and made other leadership changes as well. 13 News Chief Political Reporter Mark Curtis has more from the Capitol. Former Republican State Senator Ed Gaunch will be West Virginia's new Secretary of Commerce. Former Republican Delegate Jill Upson will be the new Executive Director of the Office of Minority Affairs. Both lost bids for re-election in November. Governor Justice also announcing that the state now has a $141 million budget surplus and a 13% economic growth rate over last year. And we need a superstar right here to help us get to the top. Because once we get to the top, I mean, this sucker's going to roll. There has been a great deal of pressure for West Virginia to diversify its economy and move away from the energy sector to more tourism and more high tech. It will be high on the agenda at the Capitol when the 2019 legislative session begins on January 9th. I'm excited about it. It's in my wheelhouse. Uh, I've spent 40 years in business, a uh, degree in economics. It's, uh, I think I can, I can do this job and I'm looking forward to it. There will also be renewed emphasis on improving the economy for the state's minority and rural communities. To look at the current goals and objectives that have been laid out for the office to make sure that those goals and objectives actually align with the needs of underserved communities in our state. The governor promised education as it relates to economic development will be a big part of his agenda. The changes at Commerce come at a time when the West Virginia economy is showing strong signs of a rebound this after two years of huge budget cuts and deep deficits. At the state capitol in Charleston, I'm Mort Curtis, 13 News, working for you.